right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have Ryan and the Focus ST. This isn't a build episode. We're actually installing lowering springs and an exhaust on his car. We're not doing it ourselves, but we're taking it down to SSR Performance. They're gonna do all the install. We're gonna take you guys along with this. But uh, I wanted to get Ryan on camera because I want to talk to you guys. I, I know a lot of people have a Focus ST. I like this. All right, the Focus ST. I was never really a fan of the Ford Focus look until the ST. Shifter is accurate, but it doesn't feel real mechanical. I want to show you guys the before and after, before it was lowered and also before the exhaust. What are you expecting from the lowering springs? Like why, why lower it and why put an exhaust on it? Just wanted to look a little more aggressive. And then obviously all the little things like get a little rid of some of that body roll and all that stuff for, for the driving aspect of it. What about what about exhaust? What is the current setup like? The stock. What is the stock exhaust? The silencer on the back. A lot of comes back to driving it. Like yeah. I can't, I don't hear rev matches. I mean, I'm not a pro driver, so I need all the help I can get, right? Yeah. So um, I just you. anything. And it's, dude, it comes down to simple fact, I've never modified a car before, so I'm really excited to try something on, on a car. It's gonna be cool to see it lowered, you know, and, and sound like it looks. When driving the Focus ST, you'll notice the exhaust is virtually non-existent. Until you really get on it, you don't really hear anything. rev match or downshift or even when you get on it, all you're really hearing is, is the motor. Guys, I apologize if the audio is not great for this part. We took off the mics, but we wanted. To, I, I realized I wanted to record a little bit of the behind the scenes, like talking about what we're doing. Um, so this part right now, Ryan's just cruising on the freeway. We have the GoPro on the back, and we want to make sure that we can get some steady, like just cruising noises, and so you can hear like how the stock exhaust sounds at what you're going 57 right now, and then how the aftermarket one sounds around that. Speed. All right, guys, right now we're at SSR Performance. Um, Ryan's gonna be getting the exhaust and the springs put on. Because of insurance reasons, we can't go back there all the time. So I'm hoping we get enough footage to show you guys the springs and exhaust being put on. The exhaust was an AWE catback exhaust system with three inch chrome silver tips. The AWE exhaust cost $649. Ryan went for the Eibach Coil Spring Pro Kit for a moderate drop. The Eibach kit is priced at $261. Oh, uh, first and foremost, before we get started with any type of work, whether you come in for suspension work, exhaust work, or even some motor work, we'd like to do a pre-scan just to make sure your vehicle's like in tip top shape and if there's anything else that we need to address before we get started. Uh, first step is safety first. So this thing has a lot of tension on it, so which is why I put the pull jack in, so that this way when I loosen up this bolt right here, it doesn't just bam, hit you in the face or do anything like that. Okay, 
You you excited? I'm definitely excited. I'm ready to start ripping this thing with the exhaust on it. So we started here. We got the gasket in there. New copper nuts, new copper bolts, new everything. So it goes all the way back. And it goes up above the subframe. And it comes all the way back here. And it goes all the way out this way, just a straight pipe. That's what I'm talking about. Ryan, yeah. so, so now we're going to do the best part here. We're going to have Ryan actually install his own tips and put them way he just wants them. How much room do I really have to play with in regards of um, like how far they go in, how far they yeah. go out? You can go in, okay. you can go out. Uh, however you like, you know? OK, yeah, I got you. So, We'll leave this up to you, sir. This one goes on the right, with the bolts on the right. Okay. And then what we can do, too, is because it has these little clamps, Right here, uh -huh. we put these on the end of, uh, there's like these little exhaust hangers, yeah, the little right here. Rubber hangers, so yeah. basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach them here and here, and we can either slide the exhaust this way, right? Uh -huh. Or we can slide the exhaust this way. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep those clamps on there so this thing doesn't move at all. Cool. Is it still even? Yeah. Okay, sick. Uh, let me slap this wheel back on and we'll get it on the ground and you guys can do a startup. That's so sick. Compared to stock for me. Dude, it's like night and day compared to stock. Like, I mean, we're cruising at uh, fifth gear, like 2000 right now, and you can hear it, but it's not anything. You don't actually have any drone, huh? Don't have any drone, and then you get the downstairs, like, th through the cabin. 